Now, local communities have called on Shell to fulfill long-standing development promises before resuming operations in OML 25. Chief Anams Sara Igwe emphasized that the delay is not due to the community's fault, but rather to Shell's failure to meet agreement. The meeting, attended by representatives from Kula, Ofonama, Balima and surrounding communities, are focused on the eight-point agreements with Balima Oil. We have ready for, uh, for Shell to move it to operation immediately, provided they carry out all the agreed terms. We have discussed about the welfare of the people. A lot of our children, graduates, skilled people are unemployed. And we are saying this has nothing to do with PIA. Our people must be employed if Shell is coming to work in our area. Two, community development, which was the major trust why the place was shut down. And you are all aware that Belekiari, when he came to Kola, promised that community will be developed before even production. So we emphasize that they should follow up with the eight-point agreement with Belema Oil. In a month called for a commitment on operation and also maintenance contract between Shell and indigenous Belema Oil, ensuring local participation and security and community development. Now, local stakeholders emphasize new operations are operators taking responsibility for Shell's liabilities, with Belema Oil having the first right of refusal. Now, OML 25 Communities Oaks Dialogue will lead to region our development benefiting local people and not just corporate interest in ensuring oil wealth benefits the community. As you sign that PO and the architectural uh, security architecture, they are free to go and operate. We are not happy that 45,000 barrel of crude oil is being tied down for seven years per day. 45,000 per day for seven years. It's a huge resources that the federal government is losing, the state is losing, the local government is losing, and even the Shell, NPC, and the community, we're all losing. So we want them to come and operate, provided they will sign that PO. We also agreed here that there is no pipeline there now to leave this crude oil. And so, they should pass, when they produce, they should pass this crude oil to a labor facility for onward transmission to Bonnie so that they can earn money and develop our place. Surprisingly, we have come to notice one thing, that Shell has this myopic and divide and rule tactics that they have used to destroy Ogoni land. They are still bringing it to Kola community. Of which, we will not tolerate that one. We are not going to accept that one. As a youth president of this country, my own is to bring, is to maintain peace. My own is to mediate. But I found out that Shell want to use their connection, their money to intimidate my community, oppress my community. First thing we told them, outrightly, look, give the PO to the security architecture being signed by Shell, Belamao, River State Government, and the regulators. Shell has, is adamant to that one. Secondly, we have told them, include Kola and uh, Voyama community. But we feel that up to now, Shell is still proving stubborn. But we don't have any options. We still take the, the peace approach. But what we have told them today, look, go and rectify what we have complained to you people before we can now know the best approach. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.